December 6, 5 years ago. The biggest gaming crew on the internet, ScrewTech, have released their very first episode of Death Battle. Boba Fett vs. Samus Aran, with the very star of Metroid taking the win. I know there are other crews like this, such as classic game guys, but I respect them dearly. But they all take part in a genre I like to call Multimedia Mashup, or Triple M. As I stated before, Classic Game Guy's Fatal Fiction and Screw Attack's Death Battle had inspired me to make a series like them. One named Fatal Fight. I got with a friend and took him up as a co-host. So I, Voice Man, and my good buddy Phil will be narrating the following matchups. Nintendo is the biggest gaming company in the world and has created a very large variety of characters. They've even made some of the greatest fighters in the history of gaming, like Little Mac, the puny pugilist from Punch Out, and Donkey Kong, King of the Jungle. Ninjas are awesome, but it's hard to take them seriously when their outfits make you laugh. It's also hard to take them seriously when they kill your head off for laughing at their outfit. Although you can't laugh it off, you're dead. Valentine, the ninja nurse from Skullgirls. And Greninja, the ninja frog Pokemon. Japanese folklore is a fascinating subject. Mainly underneath the moonlight, when yokai come out and play. And some of these yokai have plenty of perilous pranks planned for people, like Ioka, the soul with a heart of gold, and Sienko, the Chinese vampire from Darkstalkers. Wolves are honorable hunters who use their lives to protect what is rightfully theirs, being their packs, their food, and especially their lives. Like John Talbane, the martial art werewolf of Darkstalkers, and Momiji Inubashiri, the White Wolf Tengu from Toho. Mario and Donkey Kong, a legendary rivalry dating back to 1981, when both Plumber and Ape made their grand debut in video gaming history. But we're saving that for another day. We're talking about their other rivals. King K. Rool, rival of Donkey Kong and leader of the Kremlings, and Bowser. Rival of Mario and King of the Koopas. Mythological tales of old tell stories of legendary heroes with strength that towers high over many and all, even gods. And on a few occasions, gods of gods. These two mighty warriors have been portrayed at least once by Arnold Schwarzenegger, but here we'll portray them as themselves. Conan the Barbarian and Hercules, Champion of Rome. Now this matchup, I am the most excited about. <clears throat> Femme Fatale has never looked so good when it comes to these two bountiful battlers. V-Girl, my dream self. And Gala, Karmazee's fiery succubus. Manliness and unrelenting strength come hand in hand perfectly, like peanut butter and jam. Especially when it comes to these two man beasts. SCP 076, Abel, and Guts, the brutal black swordsman from Berserk. Boxing, a sport not as risky as wrestling, but still very dangerous. And awesome! How else can you punch someone in the face and still call it a sport? But then again, even when safety precautions are taken, there are still fighters who take boxing one step further, like Makinochi Ipo, the Wind God, and Little Mac, the Bruiser from the Bronx. Some combative characters have helpers that stay hidden, spring straight out of nowhere, then deliver a surprise attack, like God of Sand and spawns Letha of the Seventh House of K. But then there's a fighter whose helper rests on the leader's head in plain sight, waiting to throw out a hat trick like Cerebella, the well-endowed acrobat from Skullgirls, and Mystique Sonya, the ladylike warrior of Hero 108. Fighters come in many shapes and sizes, be it big and burly like Zangi from Street Fighter, or small and scrawny like Yoshi from the Mario franchise. But these two 
take the form of little girls who'd be TSA's worst nightmares. Peacock, the cartoon-loving Skullgirl Hunter, and Baby Bunny Hood, the crazed dark sucker. Every single fighting game needs a cat girl character, and these two are the pick of the litter. Miss Fortune, the cat burglar from Skullgirls, and Tao Kaka, the Kaka tribe warrior from Blaze Blue. Ain't technology grand? Robots like the Asimo, Valkyrie, and Bear were all made possible by us men and women of flesh and bone. But these two take technology one step further. XJ9, the teenage robot, and Mega Man, the blue bomber. Ninjas, you never expect them, and never expect ninjas to be the unexpected. Well endowed. Like Valentine, the ninja nurse from Skullgirls, and Chief Manu, the hentai highlander of Manu Hikenjo. Untested science is dangerous and needs a live subject to be demonstrated on. Normally, it all goes wrong, resulting in expiration of the subject, but then there's a rare chance of success of the subject still living. They get to unwillingly serve their duties, but are still hanging on to that one thread of humanity. Like Riptor, the Velociraptor with a killer instinct, and Painwheel, victim of the anti skullgirl Labs. Some say fighting is child's play, but these two take you to another level. Julia, the Tiny Titan, and Tough Bay Fog, the Blind Bandit. Many faithful fighters enter the ring of fate and come out victorious, recognized for their combat style, honor, and above all, looks. But some of the genders aren't what they seem. Like Bubblegum and Bozcat, diffuses galactic divas, and Makoto, the tomboy street fighter. Sometimes, the hardiest and sturdiest of fighters are not made from blood, flesh, and bone, but rock, gem, and stone. Like Garnet, the fusion mama of Steven Universe, and Tallnash, proud member of the Golium race. Two of the deadliest killers on the planet have finally met. We will settle whose end draws near in this fight of Fatal. They have both had many near-death moments. But only one shall be taken by the hands of death. Their skills are unmatched, weapons devastating, and looks unmistakable. But to be honest, they're both quite hideous. SCP-682, the hard-to-destroy reptile. And Deadpool, the merc with a mouth. The face of death must not look very good. In fact, it has never looked so ugly when it comes to these two freak shows of fatality. Painwheel, victim of the anti skullgirl Labs. And Valdo, the weird slasher from Soul Calibur. Some fighters are so gifted in the art of combat, they can simply dance with elegance and keep kicking while others fall behind. Like Pearl, the bird mama of Steven Universe. And Parasol the princess of the Canopy Kingdom. Afuta Kuchiana, a mysterious school who takes the form of a woman, utilizing the hair for chunking food into the gluttonous second mouth that rests on the back of the subject's head. But there are more practical uses for hair being portrayed as limbs, like fighting. Ioka, the soul with a heart of gold, and Philia, the amnesic pulsar girl of Skullgirls. There is no better way to see whether brains or brawn is best than to settle it with a fight to the death. Julia, the tiny titan, and Ness, the PSI powerhouse. I don't know about you guys, but there's something about attacking with claws that feels... special. Vega, the masked street fighter, and Valdo, the weird slasher from Soul Calibur. The tactic of using captivating looks to lure in unfortunate victims, then finishing them off with a sudden and deadly barrage of strikes, is very common with characters who cherish their own body and crave for blood and general lust. Like Eliza, the Crimson Scourge from Skullgirls. And Morgan, the succulent succubus from Darkstalkers. 
Boxing and wrestling, both are extremely tough and dangerous sports, but these two take them to deadly levels. Beowulf, the wolf-based wrestler from Skullgirls, and Balrog, the bull-based boxer from Street Fighter. Boxing stars have developed various techniques to help them grab that prize belt, and one of these was called the Dempsey Roll. It was created by Jack Dempsey in the 19th to 20th century, but these two have revived it and brought it back to the modern world. Dudley, the British boxer from Street Fighter, and Makanochi Ippo, the Wind God. Usually we have one-on-one -on -one fights, but here, let's mix things around. Mario and Luigi, also known as the Super Mario Brothers. Panty and Stocking also known as the Anarchy Sisters. Insanity is one of the most reckless but deadly weapons any man or woman can have, and these two use it well. Azula, the insane princess from Avatar, and Jury, the psychotic street fighter. Indie games from the Xbox Live Marketplace are the worst of the worst. But then again, every once in a while you will get a good game with good graphics and good gameplay. But these two powerful and pixelated protectors shall settle who is the best of the indies. Amazing Princess Sarah, the damsel in duty. And Akane, the kunoichi. We've covered two of the finest Xbox indie heroines you'll ever find. So we'll be finding out about a couple of the lesser known warriors of the indie genre. Scarlet, the zombie slayer and Aurelia, the savior of heaven. The Xbox Live Marketplace is home to many terrible but weird games and characters, but these two can take advantage of their surroundings. Natsuki, from Gambere Natsuki-san, and Pippi the Fairy, from Urakaiten Patissia. Punch-Out! has inspired people to not only try their best at what they like doing most in life, but also make blatant ripoffs of Nintendo's puny pugilist, like Max, the Steel Champion, and Honey Badger, Slayer of Memes. The scythe is a very deadly and scary weapon, but it was originally a farming tool called the hoe, but it was soon developed into one of my favorite weapons of all time, and the one used by the Grim Reaper. Since then, only these two can use it the best. Luli Skylight wielder of the Dragoon, and Scanty, sibling of Nisox Damon. The whip is a very sexual but effective weapon and holy balls it stings like no tomorrow, and these two can make it hurt even more. Amethyst, the chubby mama of Steven Universe, and Ivy Valentine, the greatest mix of beauty and brawn in all of Soul Calibur. Martial arts are no laughing matter. They must be used with a responsibility, precision, a sense of justice, and above all, a desire to become the best in the world. These two fierce fighters are the greatest examples of what martial arts can become. Rumble McSkirmish, the strongest fight fighter from Gravity Falls, and Ryu, the wandering world warrior from Street Fighter. If there are two things that make a ninja awesome, it's a humongous sword that cuts way better than a lightsaber and bandages. Lots and lots of bandages. Like with Satsuma Lord, the Unknown Ronin, and Zabuza Momoji, Demon of the Hidden Mist. Sometimes, it's the things that go bump in the night that can kill you so hard, you'll die to death. Ioka, the soul with a heart of gold, and Jake, Spanix's fear-eating sight swinger. These two combatants hold a special place in my heart. They fight for their country, their homeland, and one of the biggest nations in the world. And that country is... America! Captain America, the Star-Spangled Soldier, and Guile, the Patriotic Powerhouse from Street Fighter. Gods, Demons, Angels, you name it, these two demigods can kill it, as they are death incarnate, but only one shall stand tall. Guts, the brutal black swordsman from Berserk, and Kratos, Bane of Olympus. 
Anyway, Screw Attack and Classic Game Guys have inspired me to do all of this. Every single bit of it. It's just inspiration from the two of them. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a like, comment, and perhaps subscribe. It would really help a lot. Voice Man signing out.